What is up guys, Fresh Powder here, but you can call me Daniel. And welcome to my first reaction of the year. Now, last year, if you remember, I technically ended it off with Toon Sandwich's Super Showdown Brawl. And it turns out they're making it a series. Yep, this is Fanfictasia, episode one. The Phantom-like Menace. Now before we get into things, you might have noticed a few things different. That's right, I got a new laptop. Yep, the old one broke down and now... Look at that, it's got a little screen at the top. So yeah, this should be interesting. It's already faster than it was, so hopefully things will go much better. But already, we're starting off, I see Harley. So, what does this series hold? Well, let's dive on in and find out. Uh-oh. You're having memories of the, your time in the stadium. Ooh, Dr. Manhattan. Captain Marvel. All the heroes and villains. The Headless Horseman. <laughs> Yeah, the ones who lost their heads in their movies. Oh, no. And Deadpool. So this is a nightmare. And there's Oscar. Sand. Jeez. Ugh. The bag got me. Yep. Just as I thought. You and Deadpool are together. Usually the jealous type, but now you've outnumbered my mantis dreams three to one. No, I mean my bat. Oh, now he's your bat. My baseball bat. It doesn't matter. It was just a stupid nightmare. Mom, are you okay? Oh, child. Uh, Oh, wow. YouTube have been busy. Oh, it's missing. Jeez. Not an entire limb. It'll grow back. Well, of course it'll grow back, but not by tomorrow. What about your game? I don't think it'll make much difference. Come on, it's 3 a.m. Can't we stop teasing your brother and get your butt back in a bed? Can you tell me the story of Bambi Tasia again? Yep. No, it's bedtime. Well, Please. we'd like to know. As you tell it, what a glowing review. Please. <laughs> All right, but just the abridged version. Okay. Kick us off. <clears throat> a quarter score in three years ago. Eight years ago, Timmy, <laughs> your forefather, me, and your foremother were integral in the emancipation of all future fanfictations from the clutches of the evil 24 karat super sociopath known as Oscar. Yep. And Harley's having nightmares. End of story. One Direction, I saw that. But it wasn't the end of our story. Dr. Manhattan teleported all of us to our own private corner of the known universe. Yep. The first planet designed by community. But with ego's powers and everyone's ideas, we built a world we could all call home. Yep. Drawing inspiration from our implanted memories and backstories, we made <laughs> one world out of many, with realms to suit everyone. Yeah. Whoa. Amazing. Yep. 
realms above the sky. Wow. Even realms within realms. Oh, the Matrix. Yeah. And it was my idea to go back and see if there was anyone we'd left behind. Ah. I had a whole bunch of other arenas on the sun. Yeah. The inhabitants were Wow, from Willow. Oh, Sean the Sheep. Wow. Stop motion. Yeah. I think I need a little more time to explain the situation. Yeah. After we got the ball back home, our world got a whole lot bigger. A lot bigger. Sorry. Around this time, we elected the Fanfic 10. Of esteemed individuals chosen by their peers. Ooh, <laughs> the Grand High Witch. Wow. The first thing they did was to outlaw extreme acts of supernaturalism, such as mind control, regeneration, mass destruction, and time travel. Oh. Like, you know, it's been eight years, and I gotta say, we're scraping by without them. Why hmm. weren't you two elected? Why, indeed? Your mother launched a very strong campaign that ultimately fell short of being <laughs> still a killer of our community. Some of the fanfic ten themselves come to her for therapy. Oh, okay. It's my subtle revenge. And don't forget the best part. I certainly hope I don't, because the eighth anniversary is coming up. Oh. You got married. <laughs> There's a lot of brides. Ooh. DC is starting on top. Jeez. Yeah, apparently. And boom! Mr. Stork deposited you two in the pumpkin patch. Well, Mr. Stork should have been wearing his raincoat. Wait! What? Skip the part about the vault. Oh, the vault. Well, the fanfic 10 decreed that certain weapons and objects that we brought from the arena... Too dangerous. Powerful, right. To be loose in the world. So they locked them up. ...in a secure vault that can only be opened by the combined authentication of the fanfic 10. Right. That's not fair. I didn't get a say in any of this. Yeah, yeah getting yeah, late. You wake up in a strange world and you gotta either beat them or join them. Now go to sleep. Mom, am I a hero or a villain? Hmm. Why Important question. It's just the kids at lunch were choosing teams based on whether their parents were heroes or villains. And they said since both my parents are anti heroes, that makes me an anti hero and they're all anti anti heroes. Hmm. Do you? Because otherwise you missed the whole point of the story. <laughs> we fought so you don't have to. Yeah. I know, Mom. Sleep now. Meanwhile. Hello, Crichton from Red Dwarf. Good silicon heavens. Uh what? Hell is high watermark. Wow, hell is a detective. This is another light speeding fine. You've got the wrong extension. I'm in the middle of a massive case at the moment, and actually, you wouldn't happen to be a size eight slipper. What? Are you serious? Something's wrong. I can handle it. I'm on the case. All right. In the fanfictation justice system, the people are represented by one Thor in order. Intelligent hero. This is his story. I know you're already serving 53 consecutive life sentences in Supermax, but if you don't play ball with the DA, I'm going to make things hard for you. What are you going to do? Send me to the electric chair? Send you? You're in it. Wow. <laughs> wow, Angelica. Pain and panic. Also, not to question the script, but is this accurate true process? It's not the scene. Fanfic 10 just called for you. Oh. Yep, yeah, you're needed. Hey, Paddock, grab some battery packs. Thawed order is going mobile. Ooh, this should be interesting. At the Empire Strikes Back building, Gothopolis. Hella? I did, Mom. Oh, dear. Hmm. And who moved the body? 
<laughs> hey, Captain Planet. By our powers combined, we winched it back up. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? Ethan? From yeah, from Mission Impossible. Mm. This Jeez. is the first we've ever had. Well, I've solved over a hundred. Enough for syndication. Those aren't real cases. It's a stupid TV show. So it's my 100 plus stupid TV show cases versus your zero cases of any kind. I think that makes me the most qualified. Uh, uh, Ms. Hella, can we get a quick shot of you introducing yourself as Doris' assistant? Why have you brought these two idiots? This is a murder investigation, not some cheap prime time escapism. Hello, my job doesn't stop simply because all of Fan Victasia is crying out for me to balance the scales of justice. Mm. I swear on our mother, this investigation is my top priority. Sheesh. Oh, can we get that again? There was a play. Hello, my job doesn't stop simply. I have to deal with this dead body, but the first chance I get, I'm going straight to the fanfic 10. Mm. Is a dead body? Seems that Hunt has become the hunted, hanging off the world's tallest building. Well, Clearly, he was attempting a death-defying heist to steal encrypted data. Or he was just doing his job when some jackass came along and ruined his day. Been mm. there. Rorschach's journal. Denied. A window cleaner died in Gothtropolis. Spider-Man's journal. <laughs> I, I found a missing mogwai. 